So I have been inspired by a people who sent me some lovely work on Twitter. He had written out some of the rhythms in his favourite childhood nursery rhyme. So I thought I'd do a demonstration for you so that you could do something similar at home. I've written out my lyrics. First job, let's find where the beats fall. So let's tap a steady beat and sing our nursery rhyme or simple song in time with the beat. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. So there you can see which words are on the beat. So the first word bar falls on the beat. So I drew the symbol above it, just so you can see where those beats are falling. Next, let's turn our attention to the rhythm. So this is now talking about every single syllable. I'm going to draw one vertical line above each syllable as I sing. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. So there you'll see all of the syllables. There's some interesting things if you look at the word any, for example. Such a small word, but it's got two syllables, hasn't it? Whereas longer words like down, four letters, but it's only got one syllable. So just double check that you've got the correct number of vertical lines for each syllable in each word. Now, let's look at the first line that's got bar bar. There are two vertical lines, aren't there? Two lines going upwards, one here and one here. And they both fall within the same first beat. This heartbeat lasts until this next heartbeat is drawn. So we have two sounds within the one beat. So I'm going to join them up to show that they are within the one beat. And I'm sure you'll recognise this rhythm symbol as a te and a te. And they are joined up because they are best pals. Two sounds within the one beat, a te and a te. Let's see if we can find any more examples of a te te rhythm. Here we go. Two sounds in the one beat. Have a look around this area. Can you see any more? Have a look for two vertical lines within the one beat. And there are some here, look. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. And I can see one more. Can you see it? It's around here somewhere. Somewhere that there are two vertical lines in the one beat. Here we go. Three bags full. So we could say the rhythm of this section as te, 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 ta, couldn't we? Let's see if we can work out the rest of the rhythms now for the beginning section, this bit here. We've got most of it worked out, te, te's at the beginning. The end here, look, there's just one vertical line in the one beat, so that will be a ta. <gasps> Let's look at this bit though. Have you any? Look, there are four vertical lines within that one beat. So we need to join them up to show that they are within the one beat. But that would turn them into tetes, and that can't be right because a tete only happens when there are two vertical lines, two sounds within the one beat. And here we have four. So we need to show that we have four sounds in the one beat by drawing an extra line, which will turn it into the symbol t re t re. So we've got the rhythms sorted for that section now. Now, down the bottom is where it gets really fun. This is actually quite a tricky song to work out. So let's look at this section now. One for the all fours within that one beat. Three sounds in the one beat. Let's join them up. And now let's discover whether they are uneven sounds or whether they are even sounds. So all the sounds we've looked at so far have been even, where a te and a te are each the same length as each other. But some sounds in music aren't like that. Some sounds are uneven, longer and then shorter, or shorter and then longer sounds. So let's say this section, one for the, and think, is it an uneven sound or is it an even sound? One for the. I think it is an uneven sound. Let's decide, is one longer or is the longer? One for the, one for the. One was longer, wasn't it? So we're going to leave one as a te. I'm going to join four and the with an extra line to show that they are a t-re. The shorter sounds. One, four, the. 
It's the same here. One for the master and one for the dame. So that's that section completed. Let's look down at the bottom and just finish off this section now. What can we see? On the words little boy who, count how many vertical lines there are. One, two, three, four. And we've had that rhythm already, haven't we? Four sounds within the one beat. Little boy who, they're all even, all the same length as each other. So that will just be a tiri tiri. Remember, we need the double line to show it's a tiri tiri rather than just lots of tes. And look here, one for the three sounds. Listen to it, one for the, it's the same as we had before, isn't it? Te tiri. And last section lives down the three sounds, three vertical lines within the one beat, lives down the, it's the same rhythm again, isn't it? Long, short, short, te tiri. Lame just has one sound, so it's just a ta. One sound on the one beat. Brilliant stuff. Let's see if we can sing the whole thing through with its rhythm names. I'll take a little orange marker and put a little dot as we go, just so you can see where we're at. Ready, go, te. Oh, I'm on rubbing out. That's silly, Mrs. Curtin. It was going so well. Right, look, I'm on the highlights now. Are you proud of me? Okay, here it goes. Off we go, te, 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 te,